Hello friends, I'm Herbert Seguenza. I'm San Diego Rep's playwright in residence. I want to acknowledge that I am talking to you from Point Loma, which is Kumegai land, which extends on both sides of the border. I wanna thank you for joining me on this four part video series called In the Wings. Here at San Diego Rep, we feel it's very important to nurture and develop new work for a new America. Now, In the Wings, I will interview the curators and producers of four distinct new play development projects we have going here at San Diego Rep, which are very, very exciting. So let's do it. Today we talk to Rebecca Myers, who is heading our Jewish new play program called The Whole Megillah. So Rebecca, hi, how are you? Hi, I'm doing well. How are you, Herbert? You know, uh, you're pretty new to the Rep, um, so can you tell me, can, tell me a little bit about your background and how you got to the rep? Yeah, my first introduction to the rep was actually, I was in a Christmas Carol. I was Tiny Tim in a no Christmas way. Carol in like 2006, I think. So that's how I first got involved. I but think I, I remember the curly hair. Yeah, yeah, actually I, cut, I had like one inch of hair. Okay. I cut it really short for that for that show. And I think that's also the first year that Kim started working at the rep as well. So I met her then. And that was my sort of introduction. Now you're a, a associate producer from us. And how did we, how did we get the pleasure to get you? Like, what was it, a funding source or something? Yeah. So I'm the NNPN <laughs> producer in residence. Um, which, which, is, which means the national play, uh, what is it? The National New Play Network. The National yeah. New Play Network. Yeah, that's right. They're funding my my residency here for the nine months that I'm here, yeah. Now you're here to help us with producing. Now, do you have any association with our ongoing Jewish Arts Festival with Todd Salovey? Yes, I do. Um, I've been working on the Lipinski Family Jewish Festival uh, since I was really little. I was in a show that Todd directed and he used to say, I was a really bossy little kid. And so he used to be like, Okay, Becca, this one's my show. You'll direct the tour. Or, or you know, I'm the director on this one. You'll direct the movie. So you've had a long relationship with him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Since I was Great. like a little, little kid with Todd. So, okay, so now you're in the organization and, you know, we, we've, we've been developing a lot of different new work of series or a new work uh, development. Now, how did the, the whole Megillah come about? Tell us about what, what this series or this festival, is it, is it gonna be a festival or is it a series of readings? It's a festival within a festival. Okay. So it's, it's a series of readings, it's, it's a series of workshops and um, that culminate in readings that are within uh, the Jewish festival within JFest. And how did it come about? It was kind of, the inspiration for it was, was kind of crazy actually. I mean, I've been working on the producing team of JFest with Todd and with Ali Viterbi for the past couple of years. And Todd basically reached out with this NNPN producer in residence opportunity right before COVID hit. And he basically just asked me if you could produce anything, if you could do any festival, like what, what is your dream for what that would look like? I mean, we brainstormed and we went back and forth and we knew it wanted to be Jewish centered and we knew we wanted to workshop things because that's like a huge part of what of what JFest does. So we knew we wanted to be producing new work that would benefit from a workshop and benefit from a job at Turg and having a director and the writer could be working on the piece like throughout the process and working with us. And we came up with this idea for this festival that would be unapologetically Jewish is what we're right. calling it that we would have like that this is the big thing it's it's going to be so so Jews that are proud of being Jewish and excited about about Judaism yeah that's what it's about that, that's great how many scripts did you get and how many are you going to select and present or workshop we got just under 50 Wow. And, we're, and we're picking four. Yeah, it's going to be a huge reduction. Um, in How script. did you find these writers? Did you uh, have a general call out or 
what organizations did you use for people to, because they had to be Jewish centric, correct? Yeah. And it's what's kind of like fun about it is we didn't actually call out for writers to submit pieces. A lot of these submission, um, a lot of these series have submissions like from writers directly, but we put a call out to theaters to nominate plays. And so the specific call was to theaters with Jewish centered work that they're excited about. And I think because we called for submissions in that way, we knew that the quality of scripts was gonna be really, really stellar. And I've read a bunch of them. And so, and I'm like thrilled at the quality and the quantity of scripts that that we received. And it's, it's really cool also for me because I get to reach out to a bunch of artistic leaders at theaters nationwide. And I've had like Zoom conversations like this with, with 30 plus theaters just saying like, hey, what's the Jewish work that you're doing and how can we be part of that? And that's really- Have cool. you found the writers to be young or older established uh, uh, writers? There's a huge mix. There's young established writers, there's older writers who are like, this is, you know, my first play. It's, it's a pretty broad range. So you, um, were you the only reader or did you have a uh, committee to read with you? <laughs> no, I have a committee. We're actually in the process of reading now. and Right um, now, yes. So yeah. how many are you going to select? Four. We're selecting four. Four. And then they go through a one-week workshop, you said? Yeah, so they'll have a couple-week workshop uh, and, then, uh, and then a performance at the end of it. And do you, uh, did you attach a director and dramaturg to each piece? We're going to once they're chosen. So we have kind of a lead right. dramaturg for the festival and then um, a couple others. And then so this will be part of the Jewish Arts Festival? Yeah. Can you tell us where some of the funding came from? We do a lot of fundraising outreach for JFest already. Uh, and so a lot of it is coming from kind of the, the broader JFest fundraising mm -hmm. goals. Now, what kind of trends are you finding in the writing? Like, what, what, are, what are Jewish writers interested in about right now? The question is interesting because we have a huge range of topics. I think what I'm interested in reading is, is these writers that are writing about things that we haven't seen on stage, right. writing about the Jewish military experience or Jews of color or LGBTQ plus Jews or families that are experimenting and, and creating new traditions. And so I think we're seeing a lot, a, a real uptick in plays like that, which is really cool because for me, I'm multicultural, I'm, I'm Mexican and I'm Jewish. And I'm really interested in finding people who aren't just the typical cookie cutter Jews that we see in the media that we, that we read the plays about. I'm interested in finding Jews with a little bit more multicultural, uh, experiences and uh, different backgrounds. Yeah, well, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, because I think there's misconception, you know, even uh, like writers of color, like people of color, we think that the Jewish experience is the is, is the same as the white experience, right? We, yeah. We, we tend to bunch you guys together, but I think uh, the Jewish festival really uh, goes out of its way to show that, no, you, you guys have your own culture, your own history, your own way of looking at the world. It's an interesting thing because I'm also reading like a lot of a lot of Holocaust plays and a lot of plays about like the very stereotypical Ashkenazi white Jews that came over from Europe. And that's not my background. And right, that's right. the background of so many people. Like part of the Jewish experience is that we've moved from place to place to place to place to place and um, and been persecuted. And so it, it has always kind of blown my mind that the only representation we see of, of Judaism in the media is these like white Jews that are businessmen that like came right. over from Europe. And I'm like, that's not who I am. And that's not who most of us are. No, you're right. I, there's yeah. like colorism even within the Jewish community or at least in Hollywood, right? I, I hardly ever see stories of dark of dark Jewish people, you know? Yeah. It's not, you know? not a thing. <laughs> so there, yeah. So what do you, what do you hope this festival will accomplish ultimately? Well, I think that the, the hope of all of these, of all of these festivals and, and of all of these workshops is that they'll reveal plays that we want to do in the rep season, but bigger picture, I think it's an opportunity to connect 
theaters nationwide that haven't been connected before that are doing Jewish focused new work. And my goal for this is to create kind of a, a pipeline of phenomenal new Jewish works that can be produced. And like we were just talking about, I get to read a bunch of plays about Jews that I haven't heard the stories of. And that's really exciting work to me. Like that brings me a lot of joy and a lot of fulfillment. I, I would imagine that um, the five plays you guys pick will have that, a variety of topics, yeah? Oh yeah, I think we would be remiss to choose um, four plays that have all kind of the same storyline or are about the same type of people just because we have such a diverse collection of these plays that we're reading. Well, this sounds like the Latinx New Play Festival. Yeah. It started with about 50 plays that came in the first year. And then, uh, you know, there was a committee uh, organized by Patrice Amen, and then we read them and we did our first festival, what, three, three years ago now. And, and it grew. Now it's grown into an independent festival where, you know, we take a weekend and present uh, three plays plus a showcase. I mean, you, you started out brilliantly on this first year. You <laughs> see it growing? Oh, yeah. I, I want this to become an annual thing. Um, at the very least an annual thing. And I think that it, it has the opportunity. I mean, I want, <laughs> I, have, I have all of these like huge ideas. And I think that this is a really Jewish thing that we're looking, I'm already thinking about the future um, when I like, we're still in the midst of it happening this year, but I'm like, okay, we're gonna have celebrities perform all of them. Like it's gonna be all celebrity actors. David Diggs is gonna be the main character in every single one of them. Um, and each of the plays are gonna have like a full production. And I think ultimately I see this project as being something like the Latinx festival that Patrice has created and fostered and becoming uh, an event that we can have people from all over the nation come and celebrate all of these different kinds of Judaism and have just attract all different kinds of people who care about the Jewish experience and talk about it and watch theater and, um, <laughs> and do what Jews do best, which is argue about everything that's going on on stage. You mean the whole Megillah? <laughs> the whole Megillah, exactly. I think it's really- Now, now for those who don't know, for those who don't know, what, 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 do you, what, is, what is the whole Megillah? What does Megillah mean? It's like a big book, a long book, a long story? Honestly, the Megillah that everyone talks about is not that long. You read it in one sitting, in one- Okay. Evening. And- That's kind of my Megillah. <laughs> But I think the idea of the whole Megillah is it is it includes this, that, and the other. It's all of right, these right. things that are all in one. Oh, yeah, no, it's definitely in the in the American lexicon. It's just I don't think people really know what that means. You know what I'm saying? Everyone says the whole Megillah, but I don't think <laughs> not everyone knows what it means, you know? Right, right. Yeah. The whole it's it the whole, the whole Megillah. Book, the whole, yeah, the whole book, the whole, yeah. Well, uh, Rebecca, you're doing a Excellent job. What's really good is now the Jewish Arts Festival is now in its 25th year, do you know, or correct me? I think it's in its 28th. Yeah, it's in its 28th year. And, you know, it's primarily been uh, Ali and, and Todd Salovey, of course. But mm -hmm. it's so good to have a new face, a new energy that you've brought into the festival. And, and this festival has been, um, you know, your, your, your baby. And uh, <laughs> I congratulate you. We're really, really excited to hear these plays. Will they be online or will they be private, you think? No, they'll be online. They'll be, they'll be, be online be once uh, you, once they're all uh, ready to go, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Later, uh, will this be that this summer, you think? Yeah, it's uh, the last weekend in May. Oh, okay. So you have dates. Great. <laughs> great. Well, you heard it here, folks. The whole Megillah last weekend of oh, May, gonna be, they're going to be presenting some new works from new Jewish writers here living in America. We'll showcase a variety of uh, the variety of Jewish thought and living here in America. All right, Rebecca, thank you so much. And thank we'll see you. you in the halls of the San Diego Rep. <laughs> <laughs> Someday when we're in person again. <laughs> Bye. I hope you enjoyed this interview on In the Wings. Join us next time where you'll hear another exciting project that San Diego Rep is cooking up. 
Meanwhile, stay safe.